a big, big embarrassment by defeating him in the middle of the ring. One, two, three, right here tonight in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas, near the hall of the WDF champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Christian, no matter where he goes, walks upon the best show for any city. I'm sure he wants to show Austin, Texas to make sure that our truth shuts up here tonight. Christian wants to put on the best match of the card every night, all night. You know it. He does too. And um, I don't know if putting on the best match is really the uh, sound strategy for Christian to have. I'd be more concerned about winning matches if I were you. But you know, I gotta. Well, he, is a, he, is, he is a former world heavyweight champion. I mean, I, I admire the guy's creden credentials, and I admire you know. His um, capability to dedicating himself to every match and wanting everybody to remember what matches he was in. But let me tell you something, Christian. Nobody remembers second place. They remember first place. Everyone remembers Christian Reign as world champion. And if he can beat R-Truth, he can take that next step to possibly get back to the top. Speaking of that, I heard we have something going on in our main event tonight. Absolutely. I, I think uh, the anonymous Raw general manager wanted you to cover that while you were up there. I got word about it from the back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there will be a six-man over-the-top rope battle royal featuring six men who were not in the six-pack challenge at Lashing Back competing here tonight. We don't know who those six men are yet. We haven't been told anything about it, but we just know there's a battle royal going on tonight, and whoever wins that battle royal will face Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WEDF Championship at last resort. One thing I really like about uh, this is that this is going to be new blood. Absolutely, and it could also be old blood who's really on, on a roll, but still... In terms of uh, what happened at Lashing Back in the Six Pack Challenge, this is going to be new blood in the main event. But anyway. I like what this anonymous Raw Jam Roser is doing. He's introducing many people to the main event, so you should wonder who, who could he be? He could. The manager likes to put fresh people in the main event. Absolutely. It's he a doesn't guy, take crap from anyone. It's a guy who just loves. Putting the fresh talent at the centerfold and giving new guys new opportunities to go out there and bust their ass and really prove themselves in the in the bask of the spotlight. But in any case, ladies and gentlemen, let's focus on this match right here. Again, this is the uh, this is a no um, dream you're seeing. This isn't a discrepancy. Our truth is actually a raw superstar. He is facing Christian here, and oh Jesus! Our truth, take a. Big button to the outside. Christian going high. High risk. It's a drop kick by the instant classic. And ladies and gentlemen, that is vintage Christian. Absolutely. You see the Pete's all standing up as the pontiff of the population is just beating in the R-Truth here. The former ECCW world champion looks to be out of his element here. Wait, R-Truth is trying to come back. Look at Truth. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Nice. Nice. I believe that would be a more of a head scissor style maneuver. I wouldn't quite call that a hurricane on him, but still. Archer seems to be out of his element here. He is facing a brand new plateau. Of course, be coming from ECCW onto Monday Night Raw. You think, Frank Dog, that would give Archer the viable reason to really struggle in his first match? Well, like, he, beat, he beat guys like Mr. Candy and Shelton Benjamin. Mr. Kenny in that elimination chamber. Kenny, by the way, was a former world heavyweight champion. Absolutely. That's and, cool. and he took Batista to the limit, too. Oh, but wait a minute. Truth's got the cover. He could beat Christian here. One, two. Yes. No, oh. he's not. Not yet. So Chris, uh, has... Go ahead. Next time on SmackDown, sure, he lost a lot of matches, but he's hung with those guys. What, what, what has he got to do to take it to the next level? Well, I mean, he already seems to have done that. He separated himself from the fans and shown a brand new, vicious, if not uh, confusing, side to him. Nice uh, corner drop kick there. Triangle drop kick, shades of uh, Jeff Hardy. Absolutely. And R-Truth 
Now, he, he's in control here. Absolutely. He's just, he's taking the right, you know, former world champion to town here, but now he's at half Boston Crab applied, but Christian inching to those ropes. Quickly getting the rope break, forcing our truth to give up the clean break. Russian leg sweep, though, as the former ECCW champion stays on top of Christian. One, two. See, our truth is working on Christian and a little more apart. Truth's finally starting to get a flow going, really starting to take his time and prove why he was a former ECCW world champion, one of the more successful, again, third longest reign in the title's history. Christian trying to come back here. Wait, wait, oh! Oh my Dude, goodness! This could be it. One, two, no. no! Again, Christian gets the shoulder up. So I, it's been all our truth here. I've been on about the ECCW Championship, but I do have to point this out. Though our troops reign is the third longest in history behind uh, CM Punk and Rob Van Dam in that order, if I remember well. Uh, ever since ECCW came back, our troops has actually got the record for the longest reign currently. But you see that truth or con consequences suplex stunner from our troops. This could do it too. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Our troops has had the longest. Oh man! Jesus! ECCW Tyrant. Wait! Anyway, truth Chris is going for the truth! I know he's right! Christian with the counter! DJ! The instant classic is still in this as he hooks the leg! One! Two! No! Oh, that was, that was the opening for Christian though. That could create. The uh, mo the game changer that Christian needs, and Christian could possibly be a few seconds away from flipping the kill switch and calling it a day in the middle of the ring. Christian looking to go high risk again, telling all troops to get up. Troops, goggles. Look at Christian. Oh my back goodness! Elbow. Beautiful back elbow from Christian as he hooks the leg. One, Never. two, no. See the fans game behind Christian here. Pete Nation is on their feet. The peeps are letting their voices be heard at Christian with a pendulum kick. Our truth is dazed and Christian going up high. Missile drop kick again from the it's classic. It's for the kill switch. Can he engage it? He's no, no he's done. And truth, shut, I've been up. shut up for his efforts. Now our truth going to make the cover. One, <laughs> two, three. And our truth, ladies and gentlemen, has beaten Christian. And I've got to say, I think this is a bit of an upset here. I mean, considering that our truth um, came from ECCW, yes, I would consider this an upset. But at the same time, the man is a former ECCW World Champion, and he just proved, without a shadow of a doubt, he came in there with a game plan. And he took advantage of Christian every opportunity he could get. You saw the match was all our truth. Christian was completely out of it. Our truth certainly came to this match with a plan, executed it well, hit that big shut up you see right there. It had a plan considering it was an impromptu match. I mean, our truth made a statement. Absolutely, but I mean, he he had to have made a plan to counter Christian. He had to, if he had to be thinking of something on the fly, and whatever he thought of, it worked. And it's a, certainly a big message to our troops last resort opponent, John Cena, saying, hey, John, I'm more than ready to face you. I'm last resort, what will Truth do? What will he resort to to try to beat John Cena? Anything, anything and everything knowing that man, but nonetheless, our truth with a big victory in his Raw debut. You see Christian here looking a little confused, and this was a tough loss for him. I hate to see Christian like this, I tell you, Frank Dog. He he looks disappointed. I I, I think this match... I can it, tell. This, it, just, it just drained a lot out of him. Christian has been in a, a bit of a slump lately. Hasn't really picked up a big win in a while, and I, I, I got a feel for the guy. You know, just a tough luck. You just got to uh, pick your head up, chin up. 
It's always a new day, Christian. Tune up, tune up. And yeah. I'm not going to be singing that. Don't. Anyway. Anyway, we're going backstage. <laughs> we got the Grish. When the fuck did the Grish get new gear? <laughs> and why does he look like he's a part of the Young Gun Alliance? <laughs> Anyway, he's backstage with the new undisputed champions, or uh, tag team champions, Chris Jericho and The Big Show, who defeated the Million Dollar Congregation at Lashing Back. And Jericho just telling a, a quote unquote, his parasite, to just answer, just give the question, though. Just show up and ask your stupid questions! Okay, I can't do a Jericho impression, but take that for what you will. And now Jericho is the only undisputed WWE champion and tag team champion. Absolutely. First oh, he's ever. Got, he's the only Intercontinental in the United States champion, too, I believe, in WEDF, who has held both titles. I mean, he's held every single title there is to hold. And also, his partner, Big Show, like he mentioned there, Big Show is the only man to hold all three of the major promotions world titles from WWE, WCW, and ECW, and now he's a part of the first ever undisputed tag team champions in WBDF. Jericho's saying they are unstoppable. I, I, I think so, too. This duo, together, the speed and power. Speed experience, and... Experience. Spe you see the credentials speak for themselves. Really, I mean... These two are like peas in a pod. They're absolutely perfect for each other. They're in sync with each other. They have the best of both worlds, again, as you said, with speed, power, plus it's just two former world champions getting together in a capacity like that. But I wonder, speaking I wonder what Smokey's going to think of the Grinch's attire. Speaking of world champions, though, in the ring is a man who certainly won't be a world champion anytime soon. And <laughs> all crap. Oh boy. That's Samoa submission to Saint Georgia. How long do you think this match is going to take? It's going to take less than three minutes. That's for sure. Are you, 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 you think it could be uh, quicker than when Orlando Jordan tapped out to uh, someone's crawl face at SummerSlam? That might be. That might be. What, 23 seconds or so. And Joe. Right, 23, and he beat it the uh, next week after. Got to like 20 something or something like that. I don't know. Well, the time meter is on here. Whoever's got a, a 